Welcome back to the Caregiver Minute, where every weekday family and professional caregivers gather to refine their skills, gain inspiration, and prepare to serve. Imagine that the construction crew that built your home or the office where you work came in and they dug a foundation, but they didn't get things all that level. And when they poured the concrete, they failed to use rebar in half of the foundation, and the concrete was of poor quality, and they didn't put it down in the right way. And so it was kind of crumbling and flaking, and it had cracks throughout it. But then the framing crew came in, and they decided, well, the foundation's here, and it's not great, but we're just going to go ahead and build. And imagine that they try to do the best job they can possibly do to compensate for that poor foundation. So the framing job is amazing. And then the drywall crew comes in, and they do a beautiful job. It looks so pretty. And then the finished carpenter comes in, and everything about the carpentry is amazing. Well, you would end up with a beautifully looking building built on a lousy foundation. And as that foundation continued crumbling over time, the entire structure would collapse. Unfortunately, I think many of us and the people that we're serving have health that's a lot like that. It's so common that I'll meet people who take an entire shopping bag full of supplements, but they're neglecting key foundational things about their health. Or I'll meet people that have 16 prescription medications to deal with all sorts of different symptoms, but they're neglecting the foundational things that are driving their problems in the first place. The foundation of a building basically has four corners. So let's talk about four foundational things that you cannot supplement or medicate your way out of. These are things that all of us and the people that we serve need to be paying attention to or it's impossible to get good results. Foundational principle number one is sleep. It's a well-established fact that if you don't get good deep restful sleep, meaning about seven to eight hours a night for adults, that you have a much greater risk of dementia you have low energy production, and you have a host of other chronic problems. Just getting a good, deep, restful night's sleep consistently over time can do more than almost any medication that you could possibly take for your overall health and well-being. Sleep is not for the weak. You have to sleep to be superior. Now, there are a lot of things that might disrupt sleep or make it difficult to sleep. If you're not getting good, deep, restful sleep, I invite you to reach out. There are a lot of resources out there that can help you figure that out. But it's a priority not to be neglected. The second in our four foundational principles of good health is what we eat. Food is fuel. And if we're fueling ourselves with processed food that's loaded with chemicals that literally impair the functioning of the cells of the body, they shut down energy production and they cause a lot of oxidative stress, which is another way of saying they cause a lot of inflammation, we're going to be in trouble. Recent research is confirming that when we eat things with artificial sweeteners, it damages gut health and causes problems like leaky gut that leads to autoimmunity. So we need to eat real food. If something is in the form that you find it in the natural world, it's going to be a lot better option than if it's sitting in a box on a shelf in the middle of the grocery store stamped with an expiration date that's 12 months from the present. So let's eat real food. And along with that, let's make sure that we're controlling our sugars. If our sugars are out of control, it will damage all the tissue of the body. And it's the single biggest thing that will drive up heart attack risk and dementia risk. That's controllable, and we can choose to impact that by how we choose to fuel ourselves. The third thing that we need to pay attention to in our foundation is physical activity. You cannot supplement your way out of a sedentary lifestyle. It's impossible. And exercise impacts so many different processes of the body that it's one of the most important things that we could possibly do for our cognitive and physical health. There's much in the body that simply doesn't work if we're not moving consistently. And unfortunately, the modern world is a very convenient world in a lot of ways, and most of us do far too much sitting. Maybe it's time that we just get up and go for a walk instead of combing through the internet trying to figure out the latest and greatest thing that we can do to increase our energy and to feel better. Physical activity also improves cognitive functioning 
because it improves energy production in every cell of the body. And when your brain isn't working well, it's an energy deficit. It means that the cells of the brain are not producing enough energy. And we can make an impact on that by just getting out and moving a little bit. Now, if you're not used to moving consistently, or if you have chronic fatigue, it's important to move just enough that you're starting to feel fatigued and you push yourself just a little bit beyond that, just slightly beyond where it feels comfortable. As you stress your body just a little bit, it gives it a reason to be more resilient. It's kind of like weight training. If you don't break down muscle, you don't give the body a reason to build back stronger. The fourth cornerstone of our foundation of good health is to be attentive to periods when we're not eating. Fasting is foundational to good health. When the body is in a fasted state, it regenerates cells. It takes garbage out. It repairs a lot of things. It's a critical time for our bodies. And we live in a world of convenience where it's very easy to eat almost 24 hours a day, except for the little time that people are sleeping. We need to have at least 12, and in a lot of cases, 14 to 16 hours from the time that we eat an evening meal until we eat again the next day. It's also a good idea once every month or two to have a 24-hour fast. Make sure you stay hydrated, but if you regularly have a little bit longer period of fasting, it really helps the body stimulate more energy production and take the garbage out. If we will pay attention to those four cornerstones of good health, making sure that we're getting good, deep, restful sleep, making sure that we're fueling our bodies effectively, ensuring that we're moving consistently every day, multiple times a day, and ensuring that we're getting a long fasting window so that our body gets a chance to take the garbage out. Those things will do more than any pill that you could possibly put into your body. On top of those things, we can then add the finish work. There are certainly medications or supplements that make a difference for people, especially if there are particular problems. Hypothyroidism, it's a real thing, and you're probably not going to conquer it unless you have the help of a good physician and you take the right thyroid medication in the right dosing and you monitor it and deal with it. But that is something that's built on top of the foundation of good health. If you're not also moving and eating effectively and sleeping and having good periods of fasting, your thyroid won't work as optimally as it could with or without medication. I hope that that makes sense to you, and I hope you'll take steps to make sure you have a good foundation. Don't build a pretty structure on a crumbling foundation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon for another episode of the Caregiver Minute.